I define a landscape not as scenery, which is the customary use of the word, but as an organization of man-made spaces. Those are the things that have an immediate sympathetic appeal, at least to me. I'm not interested in the natural scenery here. I'm interested in what other men have done and have tried to do on the face of the earth. And this design changes from season to season and from year to year and from generation to generation and is eventually obliterated and replaced by another design. And this is the history of the landscape. It'll be sunny tomorrow with just a few scattered clouds. Look for southwesterly winds whipping through the valley 20 to 30 miles per hour. Currently in Las Vegas, 9-3, that's 93 degrees. I think most people uh, who, who travel and uh, who are tourists are interested in uniqueness. They're interested in what is picturesque, what is different but has a regional quality, which is something which is different. Uh, I happen to be one of those, and I think we're very numerous, who like sameness, who like uh, familiarity. And uh, as a matter of fact, that is one of the characteristics of the American landscape, which is an indication that we are a, a culture. That is why I never cease to be interested and I may say respectful of certain commonplace aspects of the American landscape that recur from California to Maine and from Minnesota to Texas. Uh, the strip, which has regional variations, but it's essentially the same everywhere. The small towns, the architecture, the layout of the countryside is very uniform throughout much of the United States. And that is what I like, and that is what I look for, repetition composition, monotony, uniformity, classicism. 